Right, isn't exactly the way that I would prefer to come in. Um, but uh, well, it looks like we've got access to this now, so let's get going. I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have since there's no official bonus scheme here. <laughs> I already have about 11 or so. Oh, bonjour. Of course, I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. Right. It's, it's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first timers. So we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. Hard. Reach the CCO's office. Let's go. Hello? Hi? Testing, testing. Is this thing working? <coughs> this is John from IT. We met earlier. I, I was calibrating your animus. I'm sort of the uh, Scotty of this Abstergo enterprise. In charge of all the tech stuff. Do you have a minute? Oh. oh. Ah, oh, damn it. The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Ah, all right. I'll ping you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> Well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. <sighs> wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family-friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? So the main reason I asked you here concerns is something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en crisse. I wouldn't bother. But some big wigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find, and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. Quoi? Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. 
Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. Can't get into there. I don't know who would put a post in a toilet, but you never know. People do strange things. Sample seventeen. <clears throat> stickies. Just have a look around anyway before we go in there. Just a quick look. No proper detail or anything, just a... Oh, there's a sticky in there. But we can't get in there yet. Going here. A locked door. Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now you do too. Don't abuse it. Bing. Log on and I'll walk you through this. Clear out the room first. Sticky. the joy. You know, you gotta love puzzles like this. There we go. You cracked it. Good. The file should be downloading. I set up a database for any data you find. Just look for the My File section in your communicator and you'll be redirected right away. Everything you download will be found in there. Uh, protected by a firewall, of course. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. The time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes, with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. 
We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease. Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. There you go. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby, come on. The... that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend that never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. Of course it is. <laughs> Go. I'm going to try and clear out everyone that's a level one in this video, hopefully. Hey, Dad. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's funny. I, I have this memory of you, uh, one I keep coming back to. And I, I always think about it when I'm working or just before going to bed uh, because it um, sort of calms me, I guess. Um, I was 14, I think, and, uh, and and you were trying to teach me how to, to walk with a light step. Remember that? How to be mindful of how much noise I made when I moved around. Simple stuff. Stuff I understand now, but back then, I uh, gotta tell you, I thought you were just being <laughs> an asshole. Uh, so... Uh, you told me you were going to go up to your room and sit with your back to the door and read a book. And you wanted me to wait at least 15 minutes and then sneak up there and tap you on the shoulder without you knowing. I, I even remember the book you were reading at the time, the one by uh, Captain Johnson. And you warned me that if you caught me, we'd have to start all over. Then you went upstairs. And I waited. I waited and I waited and I waited. I waited four hours before deciding to go up. And even then, it took me 20 minutes to get to the foot of the stairs and uh, another 30 to get up them. And then 10 to get down the hall and there I was at the door and peeked into your room. And I was, I was so hoping that you'd be asleep. But no, no, you, you were still reading. And I just about shit myself. But ten minutes later, I was just five feet away from you. And that's when I remember setting my foot down, and you flinched. Ever so slightly, you... you flinched. I thought maybe I'd imagined it, but I knew you'd hurt me. You didn't say anything. Checked your watch, you reached for your drink, you took a sip, and then you kept reading. But I knew I'd failed. You didn't say anything. I, I, I didn't understand why. Then I lunged and tapped you on the shoulder, and you turned around, and oh, fantastic, you said, and you scooped me up, and you gave me a big hug, and I didn't say anything. But Dad, Dad, I was so pissed off. I wanted to scream at you. I, I failed, and you knew it, but you said nothing. And I stayed mad for weeks. I thought you were you, you were patronizing me. I thought maybe you decided right there that I was never going to be the man you wanted me to be. But I realized just a few years ago that you checking your watch... That was the clue, wasn't it? You let me win because I had been so patient. And I guess that impressed you. You know, maybe at that moment you thought 
it might be better to be my dad instead of my mentor. I, I don't really know. Maybe for you, they're, they're one and the same. You know, either way, I'm happy to know that both my mentor and my dad are looking out for me that day. I didn't understand that then. I think I do now. Hmm. Interesting. Um, oh, why do they keep on giving me these? Lovely. My files. Computer. That's the employee passport. Messages. Okay, so we've got more computers on the other side. Do I do those now or go to that? Now let's go down and have a chat with whoever our peoples is. Your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. What? No, no, no. I followed that recipe to the letter. It's an art, Sean, not a science. Okay. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all. You're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great, that should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time, take care, Sean. Bye-bye, yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Right, so the two fun hey, people... I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Doing a job, but thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. Anything down here I can get? No. Shame. Right. Back up to here. And we're going to stop here. And next time I come back, I'll be doing the other two computers in here, which are in this little ante room. Projet Chantillon 17. Support to the second floor sample 17 project. So, yeah, it looks like we can get access to everyone's animus on this level, so that's what we're going to do uh, immediately, but pretty much we will do. So, yeah, we've got two computers to go out there, a uh, couple of other things to do as well, so. We'll get that done when I get back, but in the meantime, thanks for watching.